Hi, I'm Nirul Naharaktar, a PhD student in the research program, The Use of Big Health and Actuarial Data for Understanding Longevity and Morbidity Risk, funded by the Actuarial Research Center. And my PhD project title is Hormone Replacement Therapy and its Impact on Longevity and Morbidity. In my talk, first I will give a brief description of hormone replacement therapy and its use. Then I will say about study design and patient selection criteria. Then I will show the distribution of our extracted data and then show time to diagnosis of selected comorbidities that follow up. I will show survival of patients by age cohort and growth category. And finally, I will show translation of hazards of mortality into changes in effective age. Menopause is a time in a woman's life when her period stops. Most women suffer from intolerable menopausal symptoms such as hot flashes, night sweating, and sleep disturbances when they reach menopause. As ovaries stop producing the female sex hormone estrogen and progesterone. The loss of this female sex hormone also accelerates the development of other medical conditions like osteoporosis, heart disease, and cardiovascular disease in postmenopausal women. Hormone replacement therapy has been used for more than 60 years to relieve women from these menopausal symptoms. HRT contains female sex hormone estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen was first extracted from the urine of a pregnant mare. These days, bioidentical hormone also available along with natural extraction. The way of administration of HRT are mainly orally by tablets. However, there are other ways of administration like injections, transdermal patches, topical gels and ornaments. The actual risk of HRT use are still uncertain after 60 years of its initiation. Existing research are contradictory and vary widely depending on the geographical region and study population. A meta-analysis conducted by Salpeter et al. on hormone replacement therapy and total mortality shows that HRT may reduce mortality in younger postmenopausal women. However, some other research shows that HRT may increase breast cancer heart disease, and cardiovascular disease. Despite the uncertainty of HRT use, women are still choosing HRT to get free from menopausal symptoms. The North American hormone replacement therapy market share shows that the use of any kinds of HRT are increasing in recent years. Our study is designed to model the impact of HRT on morbidity and longevity of women residents in the United Kingdom. The Health Improvement Network database has been used to extract patients for this study. Our cases are patients of age 46 years above who received any kind of oral and transdermal HRT. The controls are patients who did not receive any kind of drug containing estrogen and progesterone. Controls are matched with cases by year of birth and general practice. We excluded patients with all kinds of cancer, acute myocardial infarction, serious heart failure, stroke, chronic kidney disease, stage 3 to 5, dementia, ophrectomy before 45, premature ovarian insufficiency, premature menopause, and surgical menopause. Our primary outcome of interest is all-cause mortality. Secondary outcomes of interest are osteoporosis, dementia, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and hormonal cancers. The fall-off period between 1984 to 2017. 
Our working data consists of 112,354 cases and 245,320 controls. This slide shows the age distribution and death experiences in the study population by age group at baseline. The first book shows the proportion of cases and controls at first HRT prescription. Majority of women took HRT between age group 46 to 55. The number of first HRT user decreases as it increases. This plot shows the death experience of study population by age category. More controls died than cases at follow-up in this study. In the next couple of slides, including this slide, I will show the time to diagnosis of some selected medical conditions that cases and controls developed at follow-up. The first plot shows the time to diagnosis of type 2 diabetes at follow-up. The solid line shows for the cases and the test line for the controls. Different colors were used for different age groups at first HRT prescription. In all age categories, cases develop less type 2 diabetes and more osteoporosis than the controls. Cases encounter less heart failure than the controls in all age group except the age group 46 to 50. Women who started first HRT at 56 to 60 years of age develop less myocardial infraction. In all age categories, cases develop more breast cancer and dementia than the controls. And it is well established that the patient who took HRT may develop breast cancer. In all age categories, cases develop more thrombosis and TI than the controls. This first plot summarizes the conditions we discussed earlier along with hazard ratios and 95% confidence intervals. The hazard ratios, which is known as force of mortality in actuaries. It is calculated by the ratio of the individual in the exposed group to the ratio of the individual in the unexposed group. If the value of the hazard ratio is less than 1, then the cases do better than the controls. If the value of hazard ratio is equal to 1, then there is not significant difference within the groups. However, if the hazard ratio is greater than 1, then the cases do worse than the controls. The hazard ratios and 95% confidence intervals are presented here are unadjusted. That means after adjusting for all the conditions and coverage, our result may change. This plot shows the viable probabilities of patients by age category and birth cohort. In all age category and birth cohort, cases do better than controls. This means that the hazard ratio of death for cases in comparison to controls is less than 1 within each age of birth category. Hazard ratio of mortality can be translated into effective age gain or loss. It is well known that Gompers law describe the increase in annual hazard of mortality associated with aging one year, which is approximately constant between ages 30 and 95. The increase in the hazard between those ages was approximately 1.1 for England and Wales in 2010 and 12. A hazard ratio can be translated to the number of year gain or loss in effective age as using log hazard formula. This plot depicted the log hazard value seconds age. If two women at same chronological age is on HRT and without HRT, then HRT may act as a risk factor which may push that, that woman's age further up or down, which is which we call the effective age. If the log hazard ratio is negative, then the cases are gaining age 
but if the value of log has a ratio is positive then that omen is losing some age from the chronological age in this slide shows the hazard ratio of all cosmortality and the translation into changes in effective age in all age category the cases gain ages than the controls and the women who started their hrt at the age 56 to 65 gain approximately four years more than the controls at the same age At the moment, I'm working on full case analysis where I will consider all the coverage and medical conditions. Then I will do module for imputed data considering the missing values. And after completing the full case analysis, I'll translate the module for actual analysis. Thanks for watching.